Hey, sorry about that. I was uh, online here with you guys on a live feed and the uh, internet got bumped out. It's just in the I'm sure it's very spotty. So I have to move closer to my house. Make sure it's uh, still coming through. So I don't know how much of it you guys are really seeing or not. Uh, it keeps coming up on my end as it's paused or whatever. So I'm going to keep on calling you about what's going on and we'll go from there. Anyway, so this is my house and uh in order to do some training with the guys i ended up having them come to my house and install a blueprint that we created for the landscape concept we did some minor changes in front of the house such as we were going to do a raised planter uh between the landscape bed and the, and the walkway and we ended up doing a seating area uh it's permeable and uh it's not permanent that kind of thing so the hoa is like whatever about it but um Show you what's going on. This is my truck out in the street. The the chairs out front. The table. This would be blue stone chips in here, with uh, steel edging to divide the uh, blue chips from the actual mulch bed. We have climbing hydrangeas along the wall there, with uh, wire opium on the the wall. So you have like purplish blue flowers coming off those. They'll fill in the entire bed. In a small box with the corner i'm trying not to walk around because uh if the internet is spotty here and it's gonna pause my video like it did on the last one so i'm gonna keep it very simple right up here but uh you know landscaping around the sides there the evergreen boxwoods those other perennials that are between the boxwoods and the chairs are pink astilbe they're around the tree as well and then we have lyropi there then we got the planters here my wife picked those out connecting come on Potato vines with the still be in the middle there. You can see my little irrigation pipe running through. And the mulch bed. Good idea of how it looks. It was continue here. Hopefully the video doesn't stop on me. The garbage cans will be hidden soon with the little fence that goes around it. It's not gonna be gaudy. It'll be nice. The back as the LU is, yeah, it's like flooding in this area. So what I'm thinking about doing here is actually doing uh, artificial grass along the backside. We got shrubs there. Hydrangea coming in real nice. The beds are real nice and wet. I don't have to worry about watering it. So this is duplex living in Hampshire. This is my yard. It's very simple. So I know you. A lot of you are asking me why am I living in a duplex? Why am I renting a house? Why don't I own one? Been there, done that. Now I'm working on my commercial lot. Once we get settled in there and that's good to go and it's up and running perfectly fine, then you know, I'm not worried about it. It's the same thing to me. And I got a key code for my front door too. No keys. And my puppies. See her running around. Hanging out. Yeah, let's see them inside the house too a little bit. Nice couches, TV, lampshade, little movie room. So I'm about to start grilling on my grill. I got some steaks thawing out. I'm going to go outside and just hang out and enjoy the cold weather. I'm kidding. I'm looking forward to this uh, weekend. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you all soon.